Hello, my name is George Nakarado, and welcome to another edition of Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Layers and Planes Accessories Toolbar from Esprit 2021. This toolbar can help you manage and modify work planes more quickly and easily. The accessories package can be toggled to install during the Spree installation or can be downloaded and installed later from our website. Once installed, to use any of the toolbars and options, you will want to ensure the accessories add-in is enabled in the add-ins. I've made sure accessories add-in is loaded and loaded on startup. I'm all set. You can access the commands from the toolbar we are going to be using today from View, Layers and Planes, or you can mount the toolbar in your workspace. For this video, I'll be leaving the toolbar on screen. So let's go over some of the options you have available in this toolbar. The first option is Organize Layers. This allows you to organize and renumber layers. Opening it up, I can see that I have all my layers listed here, and I can reorganize them. Next, I have Swap Layers. So now I'm going to turn off all my layers except for my default and stock. And then I can exit my layer organizer and I can swap the view of layers. It's going to turn on all the other layers and turn off visible layers I currently have on. Using organized layers, I can open up and turn my default and stock layer back on. Now I'm ready to show you using copy work plane to points, how I can use vertex or points to copy a work plane. So I'm going to select the two vertex on these two corners and click Copy Work Plane to Points. This is going to copy two work planes. Opening my work planes, I can see I have a work plane on this corner and a work plane on that corner. Now I'm going to show you how I can use the same function to copy to points. So I'm going to change my selection filter to point, select these points over here, and I can copy my current work plane to those points. The rest of the buttons on the toolbar move around your work plane to reposition the vectors. This is one of my favorite things about layers and planes, as every change you make to the work plane is automatically saved to the work plane. There is no need to replace or rename or save your active work plane after adjustments. So I'll show you how I can use these buttons to move around my work planes that I've already created. So let's start over here. I want my W vector to point to the left. So I may do a rotation to get my green vector over there and then use a flip W to V. Now I've got my work plane set up. I'm over here. Now I want a W to U. So I'll come to U to V to W. And then I can rotate this around my W using a rotate plane command until I get my U in the position I want for that side. And I can continue this with all my work planes as I need them. This one is correct in the position I want. This one, I may rotate it. Say, that one's set up. This last one, again, may rotate it a few times to get it in the position I want. Or reverse it and then rotate it. Now I'm all set. That's today's Esprit Tips and Tricks video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to visit our website at spreecam.com to subscribe to our newsletter for more cool videos. Stay tuned for other Esprit Tips and Tricks.